Hey there, my name is Chris Winter and welcome to my step-by-step -step guide on how to install WordPress and build a website using Bluehost. In this easy to follow guide, I'm gonna show you the exact steps you need to do to install Bluehost, but also build a really, really nice website without knowing any code. It's really gonna be simple and you're gonna have a fantastic website by the end of it. And guys, I've got a gift for you for watching this tutorial. In the description box right below this video, I'm gonna put a link where you can download 20 of the best WordPress themes totally for free. Now these WordPress templates or themes look incredible and with just one click, you can make your website look amazing. You don't need to know any coding to use these templates either and the best thing is they're totally free. Now I'm not gonna keep this link up for long, so if you don't wanna access these themes, it'll be in the description box below right under this video. So let's jump into it and get started building you a great website using Bluehost. So if you wanna have this amazing looking website by the end of this video, which is totally possible to do, it's important that you watch every part of this video and follow every step. If you do miss steps or you don't watch it the whole way through, you'll probably have errors and these will be really hard to fix and you might have to pay someone to fix them for you. So I'd highly recommend watching every second of this video because there are some really important steps in the middle to the end of this video which will be critical to making sure that your website works perfectly. But if you do follow every step, you're gonna have an amazing looking website by the end of this video. You can totally do it. So what do you actually need to create a website? Well, there are a few different steps. The first thing is you need to have website hosting, which is a place where your website's actually located. Every website has a website host like Bluehost or Dreamhost or Hostgator. And I'll have links in the description box below to where you can get a really good discount on these. Next, you will need a domain name, something like www.yourwebsite.com or www.youtube.com. It's a place where people can actually go to get to your website. Now these normally cost around about 10 to $50 a year, but with the host that I recommend in the description box below, you'll be able to get these for free. And then you just need to install WordPress on your website and I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's super easy. It's literally just like one click and it'll be installed. So that's all you need to do. You need hosting, you need a domain name and you need to install WordPress. And then once all that's done, we can get onto the fun part, which is designing your website and making it look awesome. For today, we're gonna to use Bluehost as our website host. So the first step is to click the link in the description box below right under this video and that'll take you to Bluehost where you can set up your website. That link's also pretty sweet because it gives you over a 50% discount on your hosting. So it's the best link to use. So once you've clicked that, we can get started creating your website. So let's now set up our WordPress hosting with Bluehost. And like I said before, that link in the description box below is pretty sweet because it gives you a free domain name and also a pretty big discount from $7.99 to $3.95. So to get started, we're gonna hit get started. And then you can choose the plan that you want. Honestly, for most people, you may as well just get the cheapest plan and save some money. It's only $3.95, which is really good value. The only other one I would recommend is this one here, which is called Plus, and this allows you to have unlimited websites, whereas the basic one only allows you to create one. But if you're only planning on creating one website, I'd probably go for this one. So let's do that one. Once you're ready, hit select. So I'm gonna search for something like Chris Winter. I know .com's taken, so I'll go for chriswinter.online. Then you can hit next. Great, that one's available. So what I'm gonna do now is put in my account information and then I'm gonna choose which plan I want. So the way it works with hosting is that it generally gets cheaper the longer that you stay with the hosting company. So you can see 36 months is $3.95 versus the 12 months, which is $5.95. Again, it's totally up to you which one you wanna have. If you know you're gonna have the website for longer than a year, probably best to go for the longer version and save some money. Or if you just wanna have the 12 month one, you can do that. That's what we'll do today. Now they're gonna try and upsell you on a few things here like domain privacy and code guard. You really don't need these, so deselect these if you want. Yes. And that'll save you a good $50. Then all you need to do is put in your card details and then we can agree to terms of service and now we can get onto the fun stuff, designing your website. Let's hit submit. Awesome, that's done. Now we can hit create your account. As you can see, we have our domain name here, which we registered before. Now we can create a password to log into Bluehost. And that's done. And then we can hit create. Great, now we can log in. So we'll log in with that password we just used. And then they're gonna ask you a few questions, but I highly recommend just skipping this. So we can go to the bottom and hit skip this step. And then hit skip this step. And then we will actually put a bit of information in here. So what do we wanna name our site? Something like Chris Winter's website and my website, a tagline as well then you can say how comfortable you are, hit continue. And then they're gonna install WordPress for us. It's super simple. So WordPress is now installed. How easy was that? 
So all we need to do now is click on WordPress and this will take us to our WordPress dashboard where we can get started designing our website. So we're here at your WordPress dashboard now, and as you can see, it's a little bit cluttered. This is because hosting companies always add in all of this stuff that you don't really need. So what I would highly recommend you do is go to the left here where it says plugins and click this. And then what we're gonna do is delete these plugins. So we're gonna scroll down and then click this button then click here, hit deactivate and then apply. And then we're gonna hit this button again and click delete. What this is gonna allow us to do is have a nice fresh start and it's not gonna slow us down with this website uh, with all of these plugins that we don't really need. So once you're happy with that and you've done that, what we're gonna do is hit dashboard. Okay, so we're here on our WordPress dashboard and if you've never been here before, this is essentially the hub of your website. It's the back end of your website where you can make all of your changes to how it looks, to how you can post, to how you can create pages, add plugins, so many great things that you can do on WordPress. This is one of the most up-to-date uh, updates and we'll take you through pretty much everything in this tutorial. But I think the very first thing we wanna do is do the fun stuff first. So we wanna design our website, get some really cool photos on there, maybe even add like a video background or something. We'll make the website look really cool. So the very first thing that we wanna do is actually go over here to the left-hand column and go to plugins and then click add new. So we're gonna add a plugin called Astra. So we search for this at the top right, Astra, and then hit enter. As you can see, the plugin's over there on the left-hand side. If we click install now, what this is gonna do is install this plugin. As you can see, over 500,000 people have used this plugin before, and it allows you to have fantastic themes totally for free for a lot of them. Once we've installed that, you can click activate and you'll see that we are brought to the plugins page and now we can see our library. So we'll click see library. And what you're gonna see now is that we have all of these fantastic themes or templates, which are essentially websites designed for you. So you don't even need to know any coding, don't need to do any HTML, CSS, JavaScript. They're all built for you. There are so many themes here with Astra and they can also use a plugin called Elementor. We'll talk about that a little bit more, but as you can see, there's pretty much a website for every different occasion. So you can always have a look through here and you can see that there are just so many and they look really good. They're all responsive, which means that they work really well for your website, even if it's on a desktop, on a tablet, on an iPad, or even on an iPhone or any Android phone. Now for this tutorial, what I wanna do is work with a free theme so you don't have to pay any more money other than the hosting the hosting itself is really cheap at around three dollars 95 so why pay for any more when they've got fantastic free themes so to search for a theme that's free all we need to do is go to the top here click all then we can search for free as you can still we, as you can see we still have a number of fantastic themes that are totally free there are different themes for different occasions. So this theme might be great if you are maybe running an adventure company. This one here, if you uh, maybe have a store. This one here would be really good if you are doing uh, selling food or something like that. And this one here, if you've got a beauty product. But as I said, there are so many free themes. Don't be fooled into kind of buying themes all the time. If you want to, totally fine, go for it. But for not, it's not for everyone. Now, if you want to check out what a theme looks like, you can actually simply just click on it and you can get a really good preview of what it's going to look like. This theme here looks pretty good, perhaps if you've got a restaurant. And actually, you can see on the right here that this has a homepage design, but it's also got an about us page design, which is totally custom as well, which looks really good. It's got a menu as well. So if you do have a restaurant, for example, this one's going to be perfect for you. It's even got a contact us page. So if you want to have your orders and things done, that could work well. Let's go back and take a look at another theme. This one here might work well for today. This theme here is for a animal foundation, but of course you could use it for anything. This seems like it would work really well for pretty much all of the different uh, websites. They've also got an about us page. They've got a campaigns page. They've got a contributors page and they've got a contact page. There really are just so many different themes that you can use. I think for today, we'll use this theme here. It's called Sierra Industry, and it's gonna work for a lot of different websites. So hopefully it will work for you as well. 
And what I would really recommend is that you work on your website at the same time as me, following each different step. So you can have your website up and running by the end of this video. As you can see, it's got a great homepage with large imagery. We've got different sections here, nice big images, calls to action, and we've got so many different page templates. So everything looks super custom. We have even got a products page right here, a projects page. I think we can have a lot of fun with this theme. So once you're happy with it, and what I recommend you do now is click import complete site, hit import, and this takes around about a minute or two to install. What it's gonna install is Elementor, which will allow us to edit this website without using any code. And it's gonna create a great site for us to start with. Fantastic. So as you can see, it's imported successfully. And now we can actually click this button, view site. And you're gonna be blown away with this because as you can see, we've already got a full on working site instantly created with a nice parallax hero image here with a button, a text. All of this is done, ready for us to customize, of course, to our own liking. And that's the great thing about this. Obviously, this isn't gonna be our website. This is uh, just a, a template with some basic images and things like that. But the great thing is we can really jump in and make this our own with our own images, our own text, and it just saves so much time and this is a really nice way to start off with. Like I said before, we're gonna be using a plugin called Elementor. Millions of people use this and it's absolutely the best way to edit your WordPress website. The reason is because you don't need to know any code. There are so many things you can do with it. So the first thing you need to do is go to the top here and simply click edit with Elementor. It really is so easy now. So as you can see, we have this Elementor panel on the left here, which you can close and you can open as you like. And we have all of these different sections and uh, like placeholders, text, image that we can use. But the great thing really is, is that anyone can edit this website because it's so easy. All you need to do is literally hover over here and you can change the text. Look at this. It's like using a Word document. It's absolutely incredible. So I think for this website, we're going to create this for, let's say, a barber shop. Let's do that. We'll call this Barber Brothers. That sounds pretty cool. What we can also do is have this top section here. Again, super easy. All we need to do is select. We can delete that. We could say, welcome to Barber Brothers. That sounds pretty good. And then here, we can even edit this button. Simply select it, delete. We could say, see our packages. So we could have this button perhaps going to see our packages. So see our, uh, our haircuts and things like this. So simply like that, without any code, we've been able to have this fantastic section here. So one of the great things with Elementor is that it's really easy to get around and change things, even things like images. So we've got this great full screen image right here. And you can see that we might want to change this because clearly this is nothing to do with our barber. So to do this, we'll open this panel up again. We're going to right click over the image, anywhere over the image and click edit section. Now what we want to do is go to the top and click style. And you see this image here, this is the current image. If I click choose image, it's gonna open up this dialog box and I can simply upload any photo. I've already got some really nice photos here that I've uh, found before. And I think I wanna use this one as my hero image. So I'm gonna simply drag and drop this image and it's uploading automatically. Once I'm happy with that, I can click insert media and you can see that we've got this great hero image already. How good does that look? Within just a minute or two, we've now got this great hero image looking really cool and we've got this awesome title as well. Now we have a background overlay. As you can see, it's a little bit dark. You can change this if you want. Simply go to the left here and click on background overlay. We can change the opacity. So how bright it gets or how dark it gets. I think we can have it a little bit brighter, maybe around about that. 
You could also change the color if you wanted. So maybe you wanted this to be a little bit brighter or a bit warmer. We can have that overlay like that. I think we want it round about there. Maybe a little bit darker. That looks pretty good. There's so much you can do with this. It really is fantastic. Now, if you ever want to save your website, it's really important you know this button here. It's called the update button and it's essentially a save button. Click this and you can simply save your website. It's important you do this because if you leave the browser before updating, you might lose your changes. So we don't want to do that. Let's now take a look at what the website looks like. How good does this look already? We now have this great parallax theme, though, so it looks like this is going up and down and uh, the, the text is simply floating over this image. We have a nice intro here. We've got our packages button. It really is looking cool. So let's go down a little bit and take a look at this section here. Now to edit this, again, it's so easy. All you need to do is simply hover over it and change the text. So we can do this and we can literally just delete it. You can even select it all and go, welcome to Barber Brothers. We give the best haircuts in all of, let's say, Atlanta. There you go. I like it. And of course you can have text here as well. And I think what we can do is just get rid of some of this text. It's a little bit too much text for me here. As you see, as I got rid of that text, it simply moved it up. That's so cool. Again, we've got this button here, which we can change. We could change this to contact us now. And it's as simple as that. But what if we want to change this color of this button? Well, again, it's really easy. All you need to do is click over here to where it says edit. And you can see that we can now have our button over here on the left. If we go to style, we can change the background color of this button. So I go here, click on this little area. We could change it to blue, to green, to black. That one's a little bit difficult to see. Maybe we'll change it to this green. That's kind of cool. Or maybe this blue. I think the blue is better. That looks really cool. You can even change the text color, but I would probably stick with white. Over on hover, it's going to change, but you can even change this to hover over to green. But I think we'll just keep it on blue. Again, click update when you're happy with that. We could even change this one, but I think we'll keep this one as red. Now, one of the cool things I think I said before was that with Elementor and this website and the way that I'm doing it with this hosting and that, is that it's really easy to use. And one of the great things is that this is a responsive website. Now, if you're, not new to, if you're new to website design, you might not know what that means. Well, essentially what it means is that this website's gonna look great on your desktop, on tablets and phones. And a great way to see this is simply by clicking on this button here. It says responsive mode. And with this, you can simply see what it's gonna look like on a tablet, so say an iPad. You can see it still looks really good. You can even see how it looks on a mobile. Again, really, really good. You can see that here, it's all changed a little bit. It's gone, the font and things have changed really well compared to how it looks on a desktop. It all looks fantastic. Let's go down a little bit and maybe edit this section here. So the first thing I wanna do is change this image. Clearly this has got nothing to do with the barbershop. Remember how we do this? We right click anywhere over the image, click edit section. Then we go to style and we go to choose image. So again, I wanna bring in another photo. Perhaps we wanna go for this photo here. This looks good. Uploading it. And then we're gonna click insert media. And as simple as that, we now have our photo right here looking fantastic. We can change that background overlay. Perhaps this time we wanna have it just black. That looks really good. But I think it's a little bit too bright. It's a bit difficult to read. So let's go then again. We'll make it a little bit darker. That looks perfect. Let's click update. 
and we're now halfway through editing this little section. So we don't have products here, but we do have services. So let's change this to our services. We could also perhaps write an introduction about our barbershop. We have a wide range of services to make you look your best. And why not include some of the services that we do? So we could say haircuts from $20, beard grooming from $10, and maybe we can also do head massage. That sounds like a nice thing from $30. And again, you could add some a short product description here so you could talk about the haircuts and things that you, you offer. But I'm not going to go too much into that because I don't really actually have a barber, but I'm going to show you the great ways to do it. And you could have a little tagline here. It looks really good. So you could say, we also offer a large, a large discount for those who have served in the military. I think that's a really nice thing to do. And here in this button, we could say, see our discounts. How good does that look? So if we look at it here in full screen, in like five minutes or even one minute, we've created this awesome section which shows our services. Oh, I've misspelled our there. Let's change that really quickly. That's how quick it is to change. We've got our haircuts, our beard grooming and our head massage. And we've even got this little section here, which really shows off that you show that you have discounts for people in the military. That looks really cool. I like that a lot. Down here, we can really go into some cool big images and also maybe show off other things that we do. We could even perhaps show off some products that we're going to be selling. Maybe we sell some products in our store. Let's edit these. So again, we open up our panel. We're going to go edit image. We're going to choose the image. Let's bring in a few images. So I'm going to go here and get back into my folders. I've got a few products here. Do you know we can actually drag all of these photos in at once? So simply we drag them all in, select them all and drag. And they're going to instantly upload. It's super easy doing this. As you can see, they're uploading and then we can just select the one that we want to use first. So let's use this razor here. I'll click insert media. And there it is. Let's do one here as well. Edit image. Choose image. And we'll bring in this shaving brush. How about this one? We'll do this one as well. Edit image. Choose image. And we'll use this aftershave. So I added these other images. As you can see, it looks really, really good. And of course, what we can do is add in a title for them. We could say premium razor. How about this oil free moisturizer? And maybe that's got a Rooney name on it. So Rooney shaving brush. We could also have a short description here. The best razor you can buy trust us we love it <laughs> and oil free moisturizer this is our favorite moisturizer our classic rooney shaving brush again you could obviously go into more detail with these but you can see that we have a really nice little layout here what about if we want to have the product title here? I think we should have one. So we could say uh, products to purchase in store. See our. So now if we look at this, you can see that we have our little title here and then we've got our products to purchase in store. And that means that people are going to be able to see these and know, okay, when I go to this hair salon or barbershop, I can buy these. But we have a few more products, don't we? Let's try and duplicate this. 
Again, with Elementor, it's really easy to actually duplicate, duplicate uh, things. So we simply select the selection, right click and click duplicate. Look at this. We now have six products. How good is that? We didn't even have to do anything, any coding. We simply copied and pasted it pretty much. So again, let's edit this one because we don't want to do this one again. We'll choose image. We'll bring in this. Change this one. We'll bring in this one. And which one do we need now? Choose this one. It's the, this one. And again, changing the name, really easy. So we've got, what's this? Grooming kit. Uh, aftershave. Balm. And soy wax candle. Really nice. Now, if you ever want to make these centered, for example, you can do that. You simply click on the center. You can see that that looks probably even a little bit nicer. Let's do that again for these ones. It's so quick to change these things. And after all this work, let's make sure we click update. So let's take a look at our website, see how it's looking. Remember, in all of this time, we've now built a really cool homepage which is really starting to take shape. We've got this great hero image with this parallax effect. Scroll down, we have a nice introduction. This could be for your own website, but this one here is just for the Barber Brothers, which we've created. A nice little introduction with a button here. I love this section here with our services. You can see that they've got the haircuts, the beard grooming and the head massage. Then also the offering the military discount. And then if we scroll down now, we're gonna start making some money and really informing people that we have these products in store. This looks really, really good. You know, I'm thinking that we might wanna add these subtitles or these little descriptions here also to the middle. Let's do that. Again, we know how to do this. We simply click on it and then style, center, style, center. And we do the same for all of these. Isn't it amazing how quick you can do this? I don't know if any of you guys have made websites in the past, but when I started making websites, it was all done with coding. CSS, HTML, this would have taken a long time. It's so quick these days. Next up, we have a really cool little section. This is a call to action. So what a call to action is, is essentially a way to share a message. So I think we could say something like, uh, we're open every day of the week to give you a great haircut. Simple as that. Again, all you needed to do was click on it and do it like that. How about this? We can change this button and we'll change it to opening times. No, that's a little bit long. Uh, uh, time, our hours. There you go. So if people want to come here, they're going to be able to see that they're open every day and they can also see our hours. We can change that later on and add in our opening hours. Now let's close this for a second and take a bit of a look. I think we actually want to have this here slightly higher. Now how are we going to do this? Well, it's really easy. All you need to do again, open this little uh, panel open. And do you see this button here? This is a button which will allow us to drag this. So I can simply go like this and drag this section wherever I want. I can put it right here. Watch this, I'll drop this. And it's right there now. So rather than it being down here, now it's all the way up here. So easy to do. You can do that with any section. You could move this, for example, below here. And that's as simple as that. So easy with this. Again, click update. I'm gonna keep reminding you guys so you don't stuff it up accidentally. So let's now go to the other pages. So you can see up here we have this menu. Let's go to the about page. Of course, this is one of the most important pages. Let's go to the about page. Of course, this is one of the most important pages on any website. It's actually the most visited page after your homepage. And that's because people wanna know all about you. 
Now you can see that we have a really nice custom template here. This is one of the most beautiful templates I've used on WordPress and I can't believe that it's free. Isn't that cool? Now, normally what you would do is edit the page up here, but because we've got Elementor, we can actually edit it directly here and it will look exactly how it looks. So we can click edit with Elementor and you can pretty much do this anywhere on the website. You'll see that it loads up now and what it's gonna do is allow us to edit directly on the actual page. It's so cool. So the first thing I think we wanna do is change this image here. Now remember how we do this? We right click on the image, click edit section, go to style, choose image, and we'll find one of the images we had. We'll go to here. I think this one's gonna be a good photo. Let's drag this one in. Again, it's uploading. Click insert media. And there it is. It's a nice parallax photo showing off the guy's cool tattoo. It looks really cool. Now, if you wanna have this in a different position, you can literally just put this in the top center, for example, and it moves the background image up a bit or the bottom center. We could even move it to the bottom right. It doesn't really make a difference. I think center center will work. You can even change how big it is as well. There's lots of different things you can do. You can change the content to be larger or smaller. And you can even do things like change it to a gradient or a background video. That's actually something we'll do in a little bit. Let's click update and let's change this here. I wanna change this to our story because I think that means a little bit more than about us. Again, we've got a nice subtitle here. We could change this to, we've been around since 1989. I like that. Let's change the size there. How good does that look? And then we could have a little title here. You can see that you can have your own text here, but it's easy to change things like titles and make it bold or underlined. It's so easy. I'm not gonna to go too much into actually writing the text here, but I think you'll appreciate that because there's no need to. But I do like that you can have a really nice little story here with some big text here. That looks really cool. Let's go down and we've got another really cool feature here. If we just update this and take a look at how our website looks, you'll see this and it looks so cool. If we go to our about page, First off, we're gonna see this background in which we have in our story, and then this text here, but watch this. Did you see that animation? We'll refresh this again, I'll show you once more. How cool does that look? It's a really great eye-catching way to show off different things about your website or your business. We can edit this. So, what would we like to do here? Something like how many haircuts we've done, Let's do this. So all we need to do is have the starting number. So let's go to zero and let's go, how many haircuts would we do a year? Probably 1,200, something like that. And if we update this and take a look, this number here should go to 1,200. Oh, didn't just yet, maybe it was too high. Let's go to 100. Well, yeah, there you go. There's a limit on the actual numbers. So we'll go with something like 90 haircuts a week, something like that. Uh, so what we can do is we'll write here, haircuts. The next one, let's do another one. Let's go with uh, 60 uh, beard trimmings. I don't know. And let's go with uh, one, 100, 110 uh, head massages. Oh God, what are we talking about here? But don't you see that that's really cool? So again, let's update this now and let's have a look at how cool this looks. And there we go. It seems like it's working now. All you need to do just to make sure you get this right is make sure that you have this title here. It goes in the title section here. We were getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, so that's okay. Let's have a look now. If we refresh this, 
And there you go. Doesn't that look awesome? That is so cool. That's probably one of my favorite parts about creating a website like this. So we've got some cool facts. The numbers speak for themselves. I'm going to keep that. It looks really good. 90 haircuts, beard trimmings, and 110 head massages. Something like that. You could add it to however you want. So we've got some more text here. I'm not even going to bother actually editing this now. You can do it yourself. But you could really have pretty much anything you want here. And look, again, we have a nice uh, call to action here, which we can easily change. But we have a really cool About Us page here. This just looks incredible. Next up, let's edit our products page. Now we do have some products. We're not gonna sell them online because that's a whole another kettle of fish, selling products and having inventory and thing, things. I'd probably recommend Shopify for that. But here we can definitely talk about some of the products that we have. So again, what do we do? We edit with Elementor. It's so easy to do. You can see it's loading up and we're going to change this page here, change this image, we'll choose another one. Let's see what we've got here. Maybe this one, click insert media and there we go. It really does look cool with that, um, that, uh, parallax theme, doesn't it? Click update just to make sure it's saved. And then we can say something about our products. We stock all of the best grooming products. There you go, something like that. Change that there. And then maybe here we can add another couple of images. I don't know what, let's have a look. Maybe, maybe we'll put these in. Could put this photo and maybe we'll put this photo in as well. That looks pretty cool to me. I like it how it's a little bit faded there as well. It really makes you look at the text here. It looks cool. And again, you could have some of your more information about your products. So we could say our products, the best for you. And then again, you could write information about your products. So we would have our shaver, grooming kit. What else do we have? Uh, Moisturizer, I don't know, and a shaving brush. Really cool. It really does look fantastic, this. So here, it just shows that each page could be used for anything. I've done this about products, but does it need to be about products? No, this could be about our story. It could be about our opening times could be absolutely anything. And of course, it's gonna be different for your website. So let's click update. Again, let's go to our website and see how it's going. So we've got our about page, which we edited before. Looking cool since 1989 and with this great animation here. Our products, which we've done. And we've got this nice photo here and then talking about the things we've got. And let's have a look at this projects one. What could we use this for? Oh, I like this one a lot. Maybe this is going to be, we could use this for our team members photo. So like I said before, it doesn't always have to be what the template has. It could be anything you want. It's so easy to do. So what do we do again, guys? We go edit with Elementor. As you can see, it's loading up here. We're just going to go through the basic steps again, and then we're going to do some really cool things coming up. So stay tuned. Don't leave just yet. I would really want to make your website go from 50% cool all the way up to 120% cool. So let's change this. Let's do something special here. All right, we're going to do something special here. Okay, rather than adding a photo here, let's go to YouTube. Now you're probably saying, Chris, why are you going to YouTube? Well, we're going to find a really cool barber video. Maybe a video about a perfect shave. Let's copy this link here. And what we're gonna do is right click again, edit section, go to style, but this time, rather than changing the image, let's choose video. Let's watch this. Let's put this video link in, copy and paste, and see what happens here. Look how cool this is. If we change the start time to say 40 seconds and go to 200, 
you're gonna see that we now have a really cool background video playing automatically. It's so cool. You can do this with so many parts in this theme. If we, again, we're gonna go through, maybe find a better spot for this. Let's do this and we'll see if we can get him when he's maybe doing a shaving or something like that. Let's see what we've got. There we go, look how cool this is. Now we have a really vibrant, exciting background kind of video playing and it's so cool to have that at the top. I mean, people are gonna be impressed with that. So let's change this here to our team and we can go down and maybe we can add a few pictures of our team members. So let's do this, we know how to do this and let's see if we've got a good photo. Got a photo here, maybe this guy here can be one of our barbers. Click insert. And then we've got one here as well. Let's go edit image there. Choose image, bring him in. And go insert. And look at that, that image is now in here and it looks really, really cool. So what we could have here, for example, again, we can change it to how you want. So let's say uh, this guy's name is, I don't know, uh, Brad, uh, head barber, I don't know. And then we could have this guy here called uh, Steve, uh, head massager, I don't know. <laughs> of course, you could have some information here as well. Uh, and I think we could delete this here to make it look a little bit cleaner. And it's just so easy to do this. So you can see now, instead of this being about the industry that it was before. We now have a really cool background video here. And we've got this information about our barbers and we could do it here as well. And again, super easy if you, like for example, we don't need this. So let's delete it. To delete it, all you do is go to the top here, delete section. How good's that? So let's update and take a look at what this website's really looking like. So we're gonna go to projects up here, which we'll change in a bit. It's actually now our team. So you can see we have this cool video. Man, that looks cool. And we go down here and you can see that we have our team members right here, Brad and Steve. <laughs> and of course, it just looks really cool. Again, you've got that call to action, which you really should be using to make sure that you're getting uh, people contacting you if you need. And speaking of contact, let's now change our contact page. So we'll go to contact, we'll click on edit with Elementor. So what we wanna do now is quickly edit this section. We're not gonna do a video section here this time. We'll edit section, go to style, choose image. Which image do we wanna use this time? How about this one here? I think we'll go with that. Click insert media. And we've got our contact page. So let's uh, change this to find us instead. I like that. And you can see we have our contact us. Uh, you can find us in uh, many locations. I don't know what you could write there, anything you want. Click update. And then one really cool thing is that even here, we can add a map. So rather than just having an address here, like you can see we have the address here, which is cool. We can change this. What about changing the map? So to do this, all you need to do with Elementor is click on the map and then go to the top here and you've got a little button here that says edit. We can even change the location. So all we need to do is simply go, let's say, because we said Atlanta before, didn't we? Atlanta, USA. And there we are. It shows exactly where we are. It's so cool like that. And people can literally drag around here, zoom in, zoom out. You didn't even have to do anything, but just do that. We can have this to be a default zoom level if you want as well, if you want to get it really close. Maybe we'll go even closer in here. And you can change how big you want this to be. Let's make it a little bit bigger. No, it's a little bit too big. I think around about there. So people can really have a look where to go. So as simple as that, you are able to add a map like that. Let's make that a little bit smaller. You can change the style and do all different settings as well. 
but I think that really helps. So clearly we're for some reason in Georgia state capital, but maybe that's where they get her haircuts from. So it's pretty amazing what we've done already. Like really, this is absolutely incredible. Let's just take a quick overview again. Now, like I said, uh, maybe I'm not sure if I have said this before, but it's a really good idea. If you, you're following along with me, I highly recommend following along. If you need to start the video over again, do that because things like the hosting and stuff are generally the more difficult thing. As you can see, it's so easy to create this website. But if you ever do need to pause the video and like take it at your own pace, please feel free to do it. We've kind of gone along pretty quick here, but you can see we've got this amazing hero image up here with the, the title and the, this uh, button and a nice about us section. But of course we do have our other about us section. We've got this really cool services page a nice call to action. We're showing off some of the products that you can buy in our store. And then we've got all these other pages. We've got this about us page, which kind of tells our story. It's got cool photos at the top. It says when we were starting. And I love this. I think you guys love this too. This cool animation that shows that we do 90 haircuts, 60 beard trimmings, 110 head messages. You could, you could also have that and type in per day, for example, it might make a bit more sense. Then we've got our products page, which is cool. We show that we stock all these things. Our projects page, which is actually our team page. And remember this one here has got that very cool video at the top. Shows off our barbers, really does get nice and personal. Then we've got the contact page. Really good because it shows that we can contact us and then people can literally find where they wanna go. You know, one thing I would like to do, I thought it was so cool that video with the grooming, why don't we add it here? We can even add it on our homepage. So again, we're gonna go copy link, and then what we're gonna do is go edit with Elementor. Then we're gonna go right click, edit section, we're gonna go to style, and then we're gonna change this background type here from classic, not gradient, not slideshow, let's do it to video. So we'll make this right like that. We'll change the time. I think we decided it was around about 100 seconds in maybe and 300 out. And you can see that now on our homepage, we have a really, really cool background video. You can even change the height that this is. So as you can see that this is a relatively large image here. Maybe it's a little bit too big. We can change this. You go to layout on the top here and we can change it to fit to screen. Do you see what I did there? So rather than it being super big, now it's a perfect height. This website is really coming along perfectly. Imagine coming to this website and seeing a cool background video with a really nice, uh, you know, image and showing off how cool your, your barbershop is, you definitely want to go here. I really like this, but remember what we need to do. We need to go here, click update, make sure we save it. This is looking really, really cool. So there are a few other things that I would like to show you in the WordPress dashboard as well. This is quite important because uh, we've done a lot of the fun stuff now, but we need to do some things so you get found online and also just to make the whole website work really well. So if we go to WP admin, you add in W uh, your, your store name and then you go to WP admin. You can go to your dashboard. There's a few other things that I will just quickly show you. So for example, if you ever want to create a blog post, all you do is go to posts and you can create a post here. So for example, let's go add new. And a blog post, I think you guys know, is a way to talk about things. You know, it's different to a page. It's more of perhaps for like a blog. And we can change different things so easily. We could add a title here and say, uh, our latest hair cutting techniques. We won't go too much into this because we've done mainly the website. And then we could just literally write some text. So let's just bring some from here. This is gonna be it. 
we can publish this now and then view the post and you can see now we have our first blog post as simple as that We've, we can also create pages as well if you ever want to get back to the home page you just go up here to dashboard and we've got pages here it's very similar to creating a post for example you can create a new one we could create one called uh, our methods and again you just create whatever you want so add this in hit publish and then we can look at it right here there we go like I said before these pages aren't as kind of nice as the other ones so what I would recommend is generally using these page templates as the way to uh, create your your page you can see that this looks so much more rich so much nicer it really does look nice there are a few other things that you can look at in the dashboard that are really really important so if we go to settings here for example you go to a uh, setting called permalinks what you probably want to do is have a look at these and make sure that you do have it by day and name or you could even just change it to post name if you want to have the date here you can have it you can simply change it to post name we can even have it as the plain text but for most people for example if we were to go to uh, chriswinter.com forward slash about it's a bit nicer to share that rather than share chriswinter.com forward slash p123 it works a little bit better in the end as well so you can click save changes there are other little things that you can change as well if you go to settings and you go to general you can change the site title so currently it's just set up as Chris Winter because this is my test site but for example this is what's going to show up if you search for uh, if you did search for Chris Winter or the barbershop or whatever this is going to be the very uh, first thing in the site title and you can also have a tagline so we could say this is a great looking website you can have the admin email address and you can change things like the time zone so when posts and that are done one thing that's also really important and stay with me here because we're actually going to get to some really cool things like plugins which can really make your website cool but it is important that I do show you this if you go to users one thing you want to do is go here and click on edit this is going to allow you to change things like your name and your password this is really important because you want to have your password secure for when you log in so you can change your name here you can change the nickname again nickname is what is going to allow you to enter into your website but you need to change your password as well you can just generate a new password or you can use your own but again really make sure you do that as well so another thing we can do is change the menus and this is something that I probably should have touched on a little bit earlier but if you're still with me good on you for doing that because this is really important that we change these so stick with me here let's just have a quick look at our website and I'll show you what the menus really are so the menus are essentially the navigation so when you go to a website a really cool looking website like this one for example you've got your menu up here so where people can get to your pages and stuff You've also got a footer menu here as well, which we will want to change as well. But first we're going to change this main menu. So we don't need to change much because we actually did use most of the pages as they are. But if you do want to change one, for example, our projects one, we changed that one, didn't we? We want to call this our team. Simple as that, click save menu. It's going to save and then we can go to our website once it saves it's taking its taking its time let's refresh this you can see that this is now changed to our team and doesn't that look great that's the way to do it but what if we wanted this our team to be right here well that's not too difficult either you can simply drag and drop it it's really that simple so if i save this menu again reload the page now our team is right here you can even create this as a child menu so essentially it's going to be a drop down I'm not sure how this template does this but I think it's pretty should work 
So if we refresh this again, you can see now we have a drop down. Look at this. We've got this little arrow here and it comes up as a drop down. That's pretty cool, but I think we have the space to keep it like that. Let's click save menu again. We'll reload this page and it's good. What about if we wanted to create a new menu item? Well, it's not particularly difficult. You can literally just go here and you can choose either to have a page or a post or a custom link or even a category. So for example, we had that hair cutting technique. We can literally select this and go add to menu. And now it's come up right here. I'm going to show you something. This is probably going to be a little bit too long and it's going to kind of stuff up our menu. So I'll save this. We'll have a look at how it does it in here. You can see that the menu is too big here. So let's change this. Even though it's got that post title, we can still change it to uh, techniques, for example. Click save menu. And if I go here, reload this, now we have techniques. And I click this, it's gonna take us to that blog post. Isn't that cool? I think it's really cool. Now, another thing we can do is actually change the logo, for example. So up here, we've got this Sierra Business one. Of course, we don't wanna have this unless your actual business is fortunately called Sierra Business. But to change this, it's really quite easy. What we do is go to appearance on the left here, and then go to Astra options. So remember Astra was the theme that we installed. Once we've clicked this, you can see that we now have the ability to upload a logo. So we'll click upload logo. Now I don't actually have a barbershop logo, but I can use pretty much any one that we've got. So let's change the logo. I'll see if I've got another one right here. Uh, for example, we've got this logo here. I can use this one. See if this works. So we'll click that and select, but you would simply just drag and drop it. it. Seems like it's gonna be a little bit big, but we'll see. And let's see if this has changed. And as you can see now, as we reload this, we now have a new logo. Now that logo there is too small and it doesn't really particularly fit, but that is a way of doing it. So you can really see that it's super easy to change things like the logo. So if you ever wanna get there, you can go to transparent header, we can make this a little bit bigger actually. I think that will look a bit better. So let's make it about there. Click publish again. Reload. And as simple as that, we now have a new logo there. I don't know why it's called Mountain, but I think that's from an older website that I've made. But you can see if you had your own logo, it's going to look really good like that. If we go back to about, you can see it goes all the way across the website and it really does keep that branding really quite good. Now, another really cool thing that you might wanna check out is the plugins. Now, WordPress is famous for its plugins. Essentially, what a plugin is, is a way to add some functionality to your website. So rather than just having the base website, which is really good, there are so many things that people can create to make it look good. One of my favorite ones, and I think one that you should all install is called Jetpack. Now this one here will allow you to have custom stats, so analytics for your website. So for example, if someone comes to your website, you can see how many people have come to your website. Uh, but there are so many different plugins which would take a little bit long for me to possibly uh, show you, but we can take a look at some of the most popular ones. This one here is a contact form which will allow you to have that contact form which I showed you. This one here is called Yoast SEO and SEO is essentially a way of being found in Google. It's called search engine optimization. And you simply just install it now. And what it's gonna allow you to do is change a few of your things like your titles and your descriptions to really make sure that people, when they search for barbershop in Atlanta, that you come up. You can install that one as well. You can have an anti-spam editor. This one here allows you to uh, make sure that people aren't spamming your website. If you want to sell things online, you can use WooCommerce. It's a very popular uh, kind of plugin as well, which allows you to sell your products online and do e-commerce. There's that Jetpack one that I found and told you about before. We have Elementor. Again, we know about this one because we've been using it for the last hour or so. And you can see it's active, so we don't need to install it. And over 5 million people have used it. It really is great. We've got Word WordPress importer. Now you need to see this. Now this is important. Do you see how this has five stars with over 5,000 ratings? This one's only got three stars. For me, 
I probably wouldn't use this because you want to make sure that the plugins that you use are really, really good. Duplicate post is just a basic plugin which allows you to duplicate posts. You've got a backup one here which will allow you to back up your website so if you ever lose it or something like that, you can simply upload it again really quickly. This one here allows you to import Google Analytics uh, into your dashboard. Another SEO one right here. This one here is an interesting one. This is WP Super Cache. And essentially what caching is gonna allow you to do is speed up your website. Now, as you can see, if we look at our website right now, it's already really, really quick. It's a super fast website, it's a super fast theme, even with some heavy kind of things like a video background. It's still really, really quick. But maybe you wanna add this if you find that your website's getting a little bit slow. Super cache is definitely one. You've got MailChimp here, which is a way to send out uh, mail and uh, kind of newsletters and things. And there are just so many different plugins. There's probably hundreds of thousands of WordPress plugins. You can have a lot of fun, but probably the most important thing I would say is to not install too many plugins. It can be really easy to get excited about it, but just keep it to the bare minimum for the things that you really need. So like I said, this website is absolutely stunning. I think that this, if you can uh, create a website like this for whatever you want, whether it's a blog, whether it's for your products, whether it's for a personal website or for a company, if you can do this yourself, which I know you can, you're gonna be onto an absolute winner. This website here would cost $10,000, $50,000 for an agency to build. But for you, you're gonna be doing it for around about $3.95 per month for hosting, and that's it. Like I said before, this is a totally free theme. You just needed to know how to customize it, and I've showed you how to do that. And look at it. We've got this great video uh, background right here. We've got an awesome about us section with a button here. We've got this services section showing off whatever you wanna show off. So for example, if you had a yoga studio, you could show off your yoga classes. Or if you had life coaching, you could show your life coaching prices. And we've got an also nice section here with some text and some discounts. We've also got a section here, which is a nice call to action with our buttons. And then we're showing off our nice products here with a good grid with some cool photos. Again, we've got our menu here, which we now know how to change. It's also called navigation. You can click on the about part and it comes up with this cool our story with a nice photo at the background. Got this section here, which says we've been around since 1989. And one of our favorite parts here, the cool little animation here showing really how many haircuts and beard trimmings and head massages we do. If we go to the next part, we've got our team, which is really sharing uh, the team members. And again, how good does it look here with this background video? You could find any video on YouTube and simply install it yourself. The great thing is it doesn't slow down the website because it's simply loading it from YouTube rather than uploading your video, which would really slow down the website. If we scroll down, we've got these high quality images. Now, these images, I, did, I just want to let you know, I got these from unsplash.com. And if you don't have any images yourself, this is a great place to go to. Unsplash.com allows you to download and use all of these images, high quality stock images, totally for free. They're usable, doesn't cost you anything. And I just wanted to share it with you because it's a great resource. I'm not getting paid by these guys or anything, but I just simply typed in like Barber. And you can see some of the photos and things that we pretty much had, we've used all these. So if you don't have any photos, you can use them. Look, this is the one that we found before. You can simply just drag and drop it and look how high quality this image is. It's really great. You don't even need to kind of credit people with it, but it's a good idea to do that as well. But for example, if you had a yoga studio, I like to use that example because there's lots of yoga photos. You can see that, look, they have all these free images that you could use. A really cool way to find great photos. This is a great background image here. I love this one. You could definitely use that for a few things. Or like I said, if you had a yoga pose, you can get these really high quality images that you can simply use. You might have your own images, but if you're stuck, jump onto Unsplash. I love using Unsplash. If we go down here, we can see that we've got the next one, which are products. We talk about our shaving brushes and things. Our contact page, which shows uh, where to find us with this map. 
really like that. And then of course, if you wanted to post to a blog post or something, we did that. So if we jump back, let's now just quickly have a look at some of the other themes because I want you to do this before, I really want you to jump in and get started with this website. I want you to jump onto the hosting, get the hosting and get into WordPress. Because by the time that you've watched this video, uh, you could have made your own website. You might've been putting it off for a while. I think you should get in and jump in and do it. So if we go to installed plugins, over on the left here, we can look at these libraries. So we're in starter template and library. So like I said, there are free themes and there are paid themes. It really doesn't matter. Like I think that free theme was absolutely awesome. And I want, I don't want you spending too much money. I want you to be doing this all for free. So let's look at the free themes. We've got this outdoor adventure one. I really like this theme. I think it's a brilliant theme for many people. It's got a kind of a similar layout to the one we used before, but it's got things like this uh, two grid here but it's really nicely designed and it's got multiple pages like an about page, a services page, projects and contact. But again, we remember we've got this projects page. It doesn't have to be about projects. It could be about anything, but I do like this one. This looks really nice. I might use that in my next tutorial. We've got this mountain theme, probably one of my favorite ones. Although the one that we use today is probably my favorite now. It's got a nice about us page, a services page and a contact page. But then you've got things like this, which is maybe a bit more corporate. It shows off different courses and things like that. It's got a nice circular image here. Different information about the courses, what people are gonna say. A beauty page for cosmetics. So if you were to sell, maybe you had a, a beauty product or if you were like a spa or something, this is a really nice one. This is a really pretty uh, page. You can actually preview this as well. All you need to do is go to preview and you can actually see that it's already pretty much designed for you straight away. I like this one a lot. This is a fantastic theme. If you ever want to have like a really clean, bright and airy theme, this one will work really well. Another one here, simply natural, maybe good if you've got selling plants or if you're selling something natural. This one here is good if you're selling clothes. I've used this one as well. And like I said before, we've got this restaurant theme here. Really good because this one's also got a menu built in. So if you do have, you know, things where you've got multiple things that you're selling, this is a really good one. I like that one for a menu. You've got another one here for a yoga. Definitely good if you want to create a yoga theme. Multiple custom pages, which is something I really like. And then this one here, I like this one because I, I like dogs, but you can see this is one for pets. But again, this one here could work for pretty much anything. If we take a look at a preview of this, you can see that this got a nice big background image, nice button here where you could download the app. Look at the, the, the way that it changes color here. You could just change this picture here to anything. We could have this as our barber theme. Just change the text, you know how to do that now. And did you see that animation, how the phone popped up? So let's say that you have an iPhone app or something. You could use this theme here. It's got a button here for the Google Play Store where you could download it and also for the iPhone app store. And you can get some reviews here. But this one's really nice. This is a beautiful theme as well. And again, you know now, isn't that cute with the dog? You know now how to do this. You've got the power how to do this. And if you ever want to, please feel free to come back and use my my free tutorials, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you with these tutorials so you can get your websites up and running. This one's really nice, I like that one. Let's just take a few, look at a few more. This one here would be good if you're say an accountant, maybe a personal page here. You can see that you've got a nice professional looking website. I like this one as well. And this one here has even got a contact form. So for example, you can get in touch with a, to get a quote for your accounting work. Now it's also good to look and to see and to make sure that they do have many page templates. They, you don't have to have it, but as we've seen, it really looks cool when you've got multiple kind of custom pages. I like this one as well. 
And things like changing the colors and stuff is so easy to do. We didn't go into it too much in this tutorial, but that's okay. This is the one that we used if you ever want to know. You can just favorite it, by the way. This is called Sierra Industry. Definitely one of my favorites. And that's probably what I would recommend you use. Just use this so you can copy exactly what I've done and just change it a little bit. Now, if you're gonna do a wedding kind of thing, this one's a nice one. This is a basic one, pretty much just like a home page template. So if we have a look at this, you can see that this has only got one page template. So it's just a one page website pretty much, but it's still really nice. Look at this, you've got Mark and Sally save the date, the story, a bit of information about these people. And we know how to change these images. You could get this website up in five minutes. Got a quote here, some little things about like what to wear, parking and stuff. Are you attending? This is an RSVP. Maybe some photos of the couple. These probably come up in a light box, they do. You can scroll across there. When and where, and again, we know how to do this map, don't we? It's really cool. And sometimes, you know, keeping the website nice and simple is a good idea. You don't have to have 3,000 pages. Why not just have five pages or one page like this wedding website's done right here? If it gets the, uh, the information across, it's totally good. So like I said before, if you do want to use any of these, all you need to do is click import complete site. Don't do it if you've already done it because you'll lose your site, but you can just simply click import complete site and you can start over fresh. That's why it's good sometimes to have multiple websites which you can use on your hosting. So rather than getting that you know, $3.95 per month hosting, you can get the $4.95 or $5.95, whatever it is, hosting and you can use multiple websites. You can create multiple. Maybe you could even make websites for everyone else and get paid to do it. That's a good idea. This is another one that I really do like. This is called the Mountain or Airbnb template. This is a really pretty one. This is probably the other one that I would definitely test out because it's so, so clean. It's got that big, nice hero image here. Got the about us section different amenities, so things that you can get in your place, breakfast, swimming pool, that parallax effect, which really looks nice, a gallery here, which you can slide along, packages, different packages. This is a really clean template, definitely one that I would check out as well, and a nice section here, and it's probably got some different, oh, so this one here, this is interesting here, so this is a one-page website, but also has multiple pages. So if you see this, when I click this, it's actually just gonna scroll down. Isn't that cool? So we go to amenities, it scrolls all the way down to amenities. Gallery, scrolls down. I love this kind of site. This is a really nice one as well. So that's the different themes that you can use with Astro. So wow guys, look at what we've done. We've created a awesome website using Elementor, using our hosting and using WordPress with the Astro theme. This is one of the best websites I've probably ever made. And hopefully you've been able to do it and you know how to do it as well. We went through this relatively slowly. So I think you could get this up and running in about 20 minutes if you wanted to. But you can also follow along with me and do this in an hour, an hour and a half. But this is really, if I went quick, we could probably do this in 20, 10 minutes. If we scroll down, we see that we've got this awesome video background. We've got this great text up here and a button here. And we've also got this menu which we made. Remember doing that? That was really cool. You've got your logo up here, your custom logo. And if we scroll down, we've got this nice about us section which you can use for anything you want. We've got another button here. And then if we go down here, we've got a parallax section. So the image stays put, but the website moves down. This here is fantastic and shows you your services which you could use for absolutely anything. We've also got a section here which shows our discounts, but again, you could link that to anything. If we go down, we've got a call to action again. We're open every day for the week to give you a great haircut. You could link to the, the hours. If we go down here, we've got a grid section showing off the products that we're selling. This could be anything that you wanted to post. It could be blog posts. It could be about your team. This could be really good to show off different team members, but we're using it to show the products. And then we've got the footer. But if we go to the next pages, we've got our about page. Remember doing this, we've got our great photo at the top here. We changed this from about to our story. And we've also got this cool section here. One of our favorite parts, this awesome animation, which shows how many haircuts, beard trimmings, and head massages we do. 
and then some more information here. We've got our team section, which I think is really important to share who's actually part of this team. And again, we've got this great video background, which we used. You don't have to have that, but I think it looks really cool. It shows that you've got an advanced website and you know what you're doing. We've got these great photos here. Remember, these were from unsplash.com if you want to check them out. We've got our uh, names of the people here looking really cool. We've got another page here, another custom page. This one here just talks about the products, but this could be for anything that you want. And then we've got the contact page, which is actually really important. So people can find you. You've got your address here. You've got a contact form, which you could set up easily if you wanted to. And then you've got this really cool map, which you can zoom in and zoom out. So people can find you really well. And then of course you can link to anywhere else you want. But look at what we've done. In this time, we've set up hosting, we've created a website, and we've done something that you might've been putting off for a whole long time. Now, if you have got this far, I would love it if you uh, do subscribe and like the, uh, the video. I'm a little bit tired now, actually. This is quite a lot of time talking, but hopefully you appreciate it. Uh, if you do use the hosting, please do use the link in the description box below. That's an affiliate link, and I'll get a very small commission if you do end up signing up with that hosting package. But hopefully you did enjoy this, and if you want more tips, on how to create websites, how to sell things online, how to make money online, please do stick around to my channel because I make lots and lots of videos and congratulations on making your website. You rock. Now, if you do want to check out Bluehost, I have links in the description box below where you can go get it for the best price and it also uh, helps the channel because they are an affiliate link. Hopefully you can use them as well. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit the thumbs up button because that's really appreciated and helps this video uh, get spread across YouTube. And also subscribe if you're into, into this kind of video. Hope you guys have a great day. Good luck with your websites and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.